Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate and welcome back to Life is Feudal Forest Village. Now the game has just recently relaunched, what am I saying relaunched? It's just recently launched on Steam and it's come out of early access and uh, I thought I'd give it another go. It's a pretty fun game, I, I kind of like builders. I know it is a lot like Banished but um, I don't know, it's starting to do its own thing and uh, I appreciate the, the sort of uh, detail that goes in. So the first thing I'm going to do today is uh, lay down a bit of road and uh, start figuring out where things can go. I get a little bit picky about uh, about games like this and where things should be laid out, hence uh, my caution around placing stuff. The next thing I need to do is to get this um, house down. And I need to be careful not to smash over the road or they won't finish it and use it. So uh, where's the entrance going to be? No, over this side, of course. So we'll just line you up neatly. Um, yeah, that'll do. And I've added a few mods. So this is, in fact, the modded version of the game. So they just added mod support relatively recently. So what mods am I running? I am running old, dense forests, which means that trees generally, I think, give more wood. So if I try to chop down this tree, that's going to be 84 wood all on its own, which is quite a bit, but I don't I don't mind that. I, I prefer that to the normal because um, your, your maps can look very deforested very quickly and that's not very pleasant to look at. I've also added in cheaper stone roads, which allows um, roads to be built more cheaply because that is a slight advantage, I suppose. I don't feel like I'm adding too much in my favor here, but I like I like roads. They look nice. It helps me lay out nice towns. I'm also running wild sheep. I haven't seen any yet, but in theory, there are wild sheep around. Is that one there? And, oh no, that was a piggy. I thought I saw one. Where are you, little wild sheep? Oh, tree coming up. Nope. So I'm sure we'll see one eventually. So the wild, wild sheep give you a bit of wool and other sorts of resources, which is handy. And what else have I got? 100% faster terraforming, because no one wants to spend hours terraforming. And small sheds, which are kind of like a storage option that you can build. I figure those will look quite cool next to the farms rather than, you know, have everyone trudge around. There's a wild sheep. Oh, well, let me see if I can stab it. Come on, someone. Uh, you, we're going to take control. So one of the new things they've added, which is really cool, is bows and arrows. Pew, pew. So where are you, sheep? And, oh, well, this controls are still a little highly sensitive in first person mode. <laughs> I don't know where that went either. And, pew. Yeah, we got him. Uh, there is also plant tree, um, which I need to get out here to do apparently. So you can actually go around and manually plant trees and I should be able to mouse wheel through the types. Can't actually see them, which is kind of weird, but that's fine. And uh, what else have I got? One is the horn to get things going. Five is playing a lovely dance and doing a little jig. And I think six is much the same. So I can take resources here. Um, pick up a pile of meat or whatever it is. I think I'll just let this young lady go off and do the carrying for us. So there's kind of a song and a dance routine you can do with your people, which is kind of cool. So as that lot goes up, I've got the trees coming down. Brilliant, just as I said it. And it's probably about time to just uh, run this path all the way out here. I actually won't get them to do it. I just want to get the line right. I'll get a bit more time first. So I'll put a path there. Uh, and lay out the fish fishery. Um, what are we going to do? Like that? I think that works. Yeah, why not? Let's see if they'll, they'll go ahead and complete that for us. Okay, they've got a little bit of work to do now. Oh, house is up. Yay! Next on the agenda are some production buildings. One I like to get up relatively early is a lumberjack's lodge because this is where someone will come along and they will do a little bit of oh, good fisheries done lumberjacks will come along and uh chop wood for us as we need it for kindling without kindling everyone gets too cold and they die the next thing i want to put down i'm just gonna sort of scout the area here is a hunter's lodge because it's gonna try and get it so it covers covers a little bit of our town here is probably about right. Hunter's Lodge will help uh, gather food for us, and that will be very nice for everyone. Other than that, okay, we need a few more uh, builders. Uh, I think that's okay, we don't need everyone to be building. 
all the time. These guys are going to complete this one. And then once this is complete, in fact, I can make them do it even faster. Sound the horn. The building horn of faster building. Yay. That's done. Good. We don't need to populate that right now. That's fine. Fishing is going on. So up here I can check the, the fish. We have uh, started with some produce, which is good. That bread is really what's going to tide us over. When that goes down, we know we've got a bit of trouble. So we want to leave that running as long as possible. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, here we go. Let's get out the old bow. Where's that? Where's that sheep? I saw one. Ah, 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 bop, bonk. <laughs> ah, so pitiful. Um, take resources. There we go. Go and take all that meat in. I wonder if it's going to give us any uh, wool. I think that is wool. Yes, we're getting a little bit of wool. Nice. It's going to be very helpful for, with the weaver in due course. So... Uh, I see we're n now down to only two builders, so they're taking resources out there, which is good. Um, I can see, I'm just going to make sure I've got a little bit of road laid out around the corner of these buildings. And is it going to be over here? And the next cab off the rank is probably... Uh, it could be a get um, not a gatherer's hut. I think we're okay for gatherer's huts. We pretty much can survive this season with what we've got. We want to get ready to start producing um, a farms, or at least laying out the farms ready for the next spring. And so we are in a relatively good place now. As soon as that uh, production is finished out with the out with the wonderful hunter's lodge, wherever it is right now, here it is. So what are they waiting for? Pretty much a little bit of stone and then some builders. Great, so that's going to make things a lot easier. The hunter's lodge is complete and now we should have a couple of hunters. I'll set them up, go out there and start doing their work out there. For us, I might see if I can just upgrade these houses a little bit. It's late spring or early summer, that's okay. Not too bad. They're not the best houses in the world, but a little bit of improvement on them would be good. And it's time to start thinking about where we might lay out a farm. I'm tempted to lay the farms sort of, uh, I want to do it over here, kind of parallel to the growth of the village, which is going to go this way. So for that, we pretty much need to clear, wait for the auto save, pretty much need to clear a whole bunch of room. So that's quite a lot of work for them, uh, and I don't have anyone spare to do it. So I'm going to drop the hunters down. That'll be fine. They will get a ton of meat reasonably quickly. So I'll drop the hunters down and hopefully we'll start to see a few more things cleared. And they're going to go through, pick up bushes, pick up rocks. I can see them, people doing that now. That's a hunter going at it. And the rest of them should keep themselves pretty busy just clearing the grounds. What are you doing? Are you a child? I think you could well be. You can go hunting with me. Come here. No, take... Oh. No, we don't want that. We want to we wanna shoot this sheep and uh, pin the bum. Good job. And now you can go pick it up for us. Well done. Okay, so I'm currently upgrading these little shacks here to make them, I don't know, a little bit more hospitable, a little bit larger. I know they're not ideal, but it is quite cheap to upgrade them. So I've got a couple of builders doing that now. Uh, let me just check. Yep, that looks fine. Get on with that. So that's going to make us, uh, give us a little bit more room. Maybe we'll get some more babies. Uh, four of four. These little ones are only, oh, already upgraded, so I can't tell. But that should be quite nice. And we've got just about s enough space to start laying out some fields. So I think I'll just, I've got my kind of grid laid out somewhat. I don't want to get too obsessed with laying out grids, but I don't know. On the other hand, it is, well, I can't even see the build. It is quite nice to uh, have everything look neat. Organized chaos is what I prefer. All right, are those houses all upgraded? Brilliant. So, oh, auto saving, thank you very much. So I think our population, yeah, should do, should do well now. Hopefully that'll keep them uh, healthier. They do, they do better in these big houses, but that'll be okay for now. So, uh, what is it trying to tell us where we can build? Where we go? I'm just going to slow it right down. Um, no, I can. I should be able to get into this corner. 
Uh, I want to make it... I, I, I'm just, I'm trying to be a little bit careful with the field size. So, let me see. I want to get, I want to sort of get it so that I can, it takes two people to farm. But I don't want to make it so big that it's just on the cusp of three. So 14 by 17. I did actually kind of work out some numbers on this, but I'm, I'm not going to bother trying to recreate it. So if I go 10 by 2, let me have a look, and then up to that far, 10 by 3, uh, that goes up to 3. I want to cut it down a little bit so they have a better chance. 10 by, 10 by 20 I'm just going to go for. I think that'll be quite an acceptable amount of field, uh, and that's going to take a couple of builders. Good, they're already set. I've got a couple of spare people who are currently clearing property. I'm going to put one more in fishing, one less in hunting. I think that will do just fine. So it's early fall. I might try and get two of these uh, fields out. One of the things it will absolutely need is a well, which I must find somewhere under here. So a well is vital for your fields. Um, I want to kind of place it... Uh, between fields so there's no chance of planting this season can I just lay a little road down and then put some stuff between I think I can and I think we'll just yeah we can do it like that I think I'll just I will lay it out and then if I get a well down they'll be able to access all the water they need which is very important so I don't want to put it right on top like uh, I don't know, there seems... That seems okay. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. And the other thing that goes with that usually is you want to consider a scarecrow. Where are we? Scarecrows, quite cheap, and they will help um, with, with food production uh, by scaring away vermin, I suppose. Um, are you going to be okay there? there. I think that'll be fine. It covers almost all of it, so that should be just okay. Great. Uh, this, uh, is there any point for... No, there is no point in specifying any crops yet, so we can just leave that one alone for now until next year. Will I put down another field? That is probably my next thought. Um, how would it be if we went like that. Is that going to be 3 by 9 Oh, just not quite big enough. Well, I suppose we can just do it over here. Um, which would be fine. I can specify that now. I think 10 by 20 should be fine. I'm almost inclined to make a couple of small fields because... Mm, no, I think I'll just do this, the big fields for now. Seems to be sensible enough. That scarecrow will pretty much cover both fields just fine. And the well is up. Excellent. We are well placed. Well, winter is here, and as lovely as our village looks, everything is very cold. We do have an absolute ton of fish. So that's very good news. We have pretty good wood, stone, etc. So that's also good news. We, we should probably think about some resource gathering. So for that, I want to have a look for like where would be good for an ore mine oh wow, actually that's really good um, that takes a bunch of wood but not too extreme um, that's actually not too extreme at all it will only last a certain amount of time but I mean 7,000 ore 2,000 I mean that's that's pretty bad well badass I suppose you could say a little bit more over there but that's a bit of a walk so I'd rather take the close at, ha close at hand ore um, I don't actually want ore. What do I want? I want... That's ore. I want, uh... Stone, actually, primarily. Stone. Where could we... Ugh. I'm not... So, like, I don't know. What would that be? 2,000 stone? That seems a little weak. Um, over here, 2,600. That's not too, ex too extremely bad. For 500 wood... Um, I might try and get a little bit better than that. 
6,000 stone. That would last us a really long time. Yeah, I think I will go for that. It doesn't seem too too bad to me. Uh, we'll get another builder on it. We've got fishing people out and hunters out. We've got a good pile of fish and meat. I'm going to take someone off fishing just to see if they can help out with any of the resource moving. Um, we'll need a road over there in due course, and in the summer we'll need some people to go farming. That's fine. The other thing you generally want to start getting into... Oh, we're out of hay already. Okay, so I should make sure I've gathered some of that because that does tend to be a resource that you need for your building. Come on. Hey, have I got a box going? Can't tell. Yes, I can. There we go. We're going to get some? I think we're going to get some. So yes, we need some hay for building. We are going to need to throw down probably another house soon. And we could do that right now, but I want to see that mine complete first. Starting too many building projects is never a good idea. Early spring has come, so it's definitely time to make sure we have potatoes out and probably the farmers to start working them. So I might take people off. Oh, we've got tons of lumber there, so that's fine. Take them off lumber, take them off hunting. That gives us two sets of two farmers, which should be plenty. I don't think they can really work the fields yet. But they will as soon as the thaw comes. So early spring. Must have been a very cold winter. Still nothing. Oh, is the snow receding? I'd like to think so. Soon. Soon the snow is receding. Meanwhile, our stone quarry is almost, almost resourced up. So that's going to be very good news. No hunters. I might, I might drop someone off that and put them back on hunting. Just because I want to keep the animals down. The animals can spread diseases. And the last thing I need right now is people dying of disease. That would be very fatal to them. We do not have any medical staff. Now, here we go. Oh, there we go. Fields are now available for planting. So people, uh, you have nice uh, little roads laid out and stuff. I might just make sure the uh, roads are complete. Now that we have, I think, the time to worry about that. And of course, the road here is obstructed by this annoying well. That's okay. We can't have everything nice and neat. Um, I'll just take it around here as well. And that's very good. They've got lots of pathways to move on now. I'll get a little path down the side here. Help our farmers get about. So now they're going to be busy planting and uh, getting the crops in for the season. And I think this number of fields is man this number of size is manageable. I find that if you try and go just under the max that two people can handle, they sometimes don't get all of the harvest in, and it's kind of a real waste. They might as well uh, get all of all of the harvest that they can in, and uh, then we can enjoy many many potatoes for many days to come. So the mine is complete. I've laid down some uh, road for them to reach it put someone on mining duties wherever that is and we have a couple of spare builders so I can take them off get them just doing some other work like maybe uh, I don't know if we need any more fishes I'll let them do a little bit of cleaning up and clearing of wood and trees and stuff farmers are doing okay this field is growing normally which is fine I suppose we'll give them a little bit of the old uh, the hurry up there you go now they're gonna move quicker yeah the horn definitely helps I kind of think it might be a good idea to throw down some more housing. I feel like we've got a good buffer in terms of food supplies. So I'm, I'm interested, can we get a house in here? It looks like, yeah, it looks like we can. So that's going to be very handy. I expect a few farmers will move in. So we'll need builders for that. Field workers are working. I'll speed them up a little bit. Hopefully we'll see enough resources start to move around in spite of this extremely loud thunderstorm. So there are an absolute ton of wild animals. Look at all these blimmin' animals everywhere. So the next free person I spot... Come on, people, where are you? I'll find a free person, and we're gonna go, and here we go. Peyton, we need to do a little bit of hunting before you get too carried away. Here we go, find this bear. Oh, yeah, we got him. One arrow, and he's down. Here's another one over here. Someone else can go pick up all the bits, but... Yep. What about the long-range shot? I don't think that's going to hit. No, <laughs> can't tell. Over here, another bear. And... Did... Oh, that was terrible. Come on, Peyton. You can do better than that. 
Oh, yeah, good. Stay back, animals. I don't want your rabies. Let's just... Where, where, where are you, wild sheep? No, no, come on. Yeah, that was a good one. Bar and down. And a whole pile of resources left lying around. Did we get all of them? Oh, one more bear. Bonk, straight through the ribs. Didn't do a thing. Yeah, that got him. Alright, I think we've cleared up the... That's a lady. I don't think we should shoot her. Nope, leave her alone. Leave her alone. That's the wild animal menace cleared up. We'll just honk the old horn. Get everyone working nice and fast. And enjoy our late spring. I think we're easily going to get this harvest through. We're very lucky. We might even be able to get two harvests in. I'll probably try and harvest a bit of uh, hay or something. Maybe flax. We'll see. So the second house has been built. And it's a little bit different from the other house in the look of it. That's fantastic. They're doing a, a lot to really add to the variety of the game. Lots of pretty little features. Over here, I've got a little lamppost going in. So I look forward to seeing how that works. I only needs one builder. So that means I can put someone else on. I think may maybe mining stone would be a good idea. Meanwhile, a spare person. I've got one. One, we've got no spare people left, actually. I think as soon as that's completed, I'll uh, let them just do the the idle work of building roads and what have you. Okay, so someone's grown up and ready to study. We don't have a school yet. A school is kind of high on my list, but I think I'll probably need a carpenter's before that. And who, who let the... Who let this blimmin... This, this bear in here? Come on, let's give him a stab. And spear through the middle right with our head as well. Celebration horn. There we go. Problem solved. Good old Thea here is busy building a lovely lamppost. Apparently she's trying to saw stone in half. What can I say? They don't they don't make them that smart back then, did they? Still, I'm sure we'll get a very lovely lamppost out of it. And over here, the good news is that our potatoes are being harvested. Who has ever been so excited about a potato before? Who are you? A small child. Excellent. So potatoes are going in. Uh, you, perhaps, small child, can be my vessel to sound the horn. There we go. Everyone moves a bit quicker now. So potatoes are coming in, which means we should, because it's already only summer, should be able to get a harvest in, I think, of flax and hay is what I will try. We'll see how that goes. So I quite like these 10 by 20 fields. They seem to have done the trick quite nicely. And look at all those potatoes. We've got tons of fish, potatoes, a little bit of meat. Um, variety of food is important, even more so when you get a baker's going and you're starting to produce Lots of delicious food for your people, pies and cakes and what have you. So early fall is here, all the potatoes are in. We've got this field going for flax, which will be good. I don't know if we can manage it. This field, there's 14 potatoes left. Someone pick them up. Mm -hmm. We'll just get the old, I don't know, uh, actually someone else. Uh -huh. You. There you go, sound the horn. Very good, very good. So, and that field is now empty. I want that with grass. How much grass work can you do? My, well, can you do my minions? That auto saves a bit of a pain and I can't find a way to turn it off. Never mind. So, flax is going in here a little bit. As soon as the temperature starts to drop, I should kind of keep an eye on it. As soon as the temperature starts to drop, I need to uh, harvest straight away or we will lose all, all the crop. Meanwhile, we have one spare person, which is good. We have two people out fishing, one person hunting, which seems to be fine. Four people farming, which is all the fields will take. And two people down in the mine gathering stone. I'd like to get some people working lumberjack soon, but I think at this population that wood will be fine and we can catch up if we need to over winter with the cutting. Good, that's a good pile of flax going in. There's going to be a cutoff point where I'll need to stop. How's the grass growing? It's not growing yet. So I can actually see that there. So the hay is not coming through. The flax is coming up and looking very nice. Very pretty. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about the temperature. It is falling. So I'm going to tell them to start harvesting. 270 should be plenty of flax. That should keep us going for quite a bit. Oh, fields are getting cold. Just harvest the grass while you can. Um, you sound the horn. Can I, can I get you to help? Can you do some digging with me? Uh, 
no, inter interact. Yes, dig it up, pick it up. How much digging can you do on your own, young lady? Uh, do I have to just keep doing it like th this? Okay, I've got, in oh, I see, I've got my inventory there. Okay, so I can actually help if need be in an emergency. And I can sound the horn again soon. And how much is that? 14? Oh my gosh, I actually don't want to sit here doing this all day. I'll just leave them to it. That should be plenty. So I can see that the flax is good. They're starting to come in. Grass. Not amazing, but I don't need that much right now. So that seems fine. I have noticed that firewood is starting to go down fairly quickly. So it's probably a good idea to switch people over to just bolster that. I want to keep it up over 300. Pretty much most of the time. How are they doing? The flax, they're doing great. I think I timed that really well. And just harvest that. I think they might just get what is there in. Yeah, they'll, they'll get it in in time. And that's actually giving us quite a ton of hay after all. Wow, I think I did that perfectly. Probably the first time ever. Usually I leave it too late and everything dies in, the, in a frost or something. Okay, so time to pause this field. I'm going to flip it back to potatoes so I don't forget. And that means I can drop two farmers out and they can just go off and do duties around here, which by the looks of it is going to be clearing up some trees. And it's also probably a good time to consider our next production type building. I think um, the apiaries must be kind of new. I haven't messed with those before, but I suspect I need them mostly for beer production and what have you. And I'm not really ready for that. The Weaver's Workshop, it's such a handy building, I feel that I just pretty much have to get one in. And I need to put it near where all the stores go. So what are we short on for that? A little bit of ore. I can see it needs 90, we only have 88. Thankfully, it's... I like how you can move the buildings a little bit within the confines of the area. So thankfully, this shouldn't be too difficult for us to gather a little bit of. So if I put that there and uh, put a couple of builders on and then find the gather for ore I should be able to just I don't know find some out here there you go there's 35 that'll keep them busy for a while so fall is here and my little street lamp is is looking really lovely I can actually add to that there are other decorations wood an adorable like sign be nice I could rotate it a little bit there you go. Street lamp and sign. That's going to be fantastic. It's going to point to all the things that are really obvious right here. And I set the Weaver's Workshop up. Um, it looks like, yeah, they keep topping and bottoming out on the ore. So we need someone to be out there gathering ore. But that's fine because we've finished with all of our farming for the year. So I've now got two, three people out there just gathering the trees and bits and bobs that they need to do. Likewise, I might... Yeah, I've dropped everyone off stone. Kindling is going back up. Hunting is fine. Builders, they'll do fine with two builders. It's a good it's a good winter activity as a bunch of building. So they can just crack on and do that as far as I'm concerned. The Weaver's Workshop is going up very quickly now. Especially because everything's on fast speed. And I'm, I'm getting the old builder's horn there going. And uh, I think we're in a really good position. We've got a ton of fish a ton of vegetables and some meat pie well meat which is great i think in the next season or the next episode because i think it's probably a good time to end now in the next episode ah here we go almost done in the next episode we'll go for a little bit more food probably some fruit i'm thinking and we'll expand that's uh, so all we'll expand an orchard and probably a little bit more housing and i'm really tempted to get a school as soon as i possibly can that would be a very helpful thing for us to have. And now the building's done. A bit of winter work can take place, which is going to be very helpful for them. So crack on, minions. Go and destroy us some, I don't know, wildlife and keep everything going along nicely. Anyway, I've been Tiny Pirate. Thanks for watching. This has been an episode of Life is Feudal Forest Village Modded Edition. Modded Release Edition, in fact. Until next time, and I hope you will subscribe and come and join me for future episodes. Good night.